September 2022. Guys, we have a very, very red day in the crypto markets today. All coins are dumping really, really hard. The major successful yesterday, Dogecoin become the second largest proof of work cryptocurrency. In other news happening in the crypto world, Ether stake could trigger security roll. That's what SEC chairman is saying, Gary Gensler. And guys, Ethereum is currently sitting at $1,465. Guys, Ethereum is currently sitting at a very, very crucial support level. If you break this support, it might be lights out for Ethereum. We might be calling $1,200 Ethereum very, very quickly. We'll also be looking at what's happening with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is below $20,000 right now. Bitcoin had a wonderful crash yesterday. It was trading around $22,700 just on the 13th of September 2022. Right now, it's below $20,000. How will that affect the rest of the crypto market? Are we going to keep dumping in this bear market? We'll be talking about other new stories happening in the crypto world. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel, and you want to make money long term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies if you want to get the latest crypto news price predictions and chart analysis please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this turn on the post notification to get notified anytime i drop a new video let's get down to business Guys, we have a very, very red day in the crypto markets today. You can see that all coins are dumping really hard. Luna Classic is down 47%. All coins have been dumping really well. Now, the major successful yesterday, Ethereum successfully moved from proof of work to proof of stake, thereby making Dogecoin becoming the second largest proof of work cryptocurrency. Following the Ethereum merge, Dogecoin now only trails Bitcoin as the largest proof of work cryptocurrency. That's good to see. After Dogecoin, we have Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Monero, and Bitcoin Cash. Ether staking could trigger security rules. That's what Gary Gensler is saying. Though he did not specify any particular crypto, SEC Chair Gary Gensler said proof of stake cryptocurrency could be subjected to security law. Let's look at some other news stories happening in the crypto world. Environmental group wants Bitcoin to follow Ethereum example in moving to proof of stake. Now, this was a story that started developing at the end of the 2021 bull run when they're saying Bitcoin is harmful to the environment and Bitcoin should move to more environmental friendly energy resources. Critics have suggested Bitcoin could not operate as the same decentralized currency without a consensus mechanism like proof of work. Climate group to Bitcoin, cut pollution and the BS. And a lot of counter argument to all this is that, guys, as Ethereum was moving from proof of work to proof of stake, guess what happened? Miners that are mining Ethereum just find other cryptocurrencies to mine. So it didn't reduce any energy consumption. Energy is still going to be used regardless. Now let's take a look at some charts right here. Ethereum was trading around 1,700, 1,600 as the merge was happening. But guess what, guys? Ethereum started dumping after the merge. We were waiting for a very, very huge dump in Ethereum. But that didn't come to play. Ethereum just fell only 12%. 12% might sound like a lot, but the significance of the merge and things that could go wrong a lot of people are expecting a 30 40 some people are even expecting a 50 percent dump in ethereum but it's good to see that ethereum is holding really well and guys if ethereum loses 1400 dollars that's around the previous all-time high we set in 2018 you can see that it's a very very quick road to 1200 if it comes to 1200 that would be a very good buying opportunity there's still a school of thought that say maybe just maybe ethereum is going to 700 dollars in this bear market can it get that low in this bear market? Maybe, but we know that in the bear market, Bitcoin actually are performing a lot of the altcoins, Ethereum included. Except this time will be different. We'll be expecting Ethereum to dump to Goblin Town at some point in time in the bear market. Taking a look at Bitcoin price chart and the price cycle indicator has told us that the bottom is in for Bitcoin. It printed that the bottom was in on the 13th of July 2022. And when it was telling us the bottom was in, Bitcoin was trading for around $19,245. And this one reason why I'm accumulating Bitcoin through the bear market, Bitcoin is still below $20,000. But guys, if we see Bitcoin going below $17,600, that's the lowest we've gone in this bear market. It might spell trouble for Bitcoin. A lot of predictions out there are saying Bitcoin might be going to $12,000, $14,000. Some people are even calling for $10,000 Bitcoin. We're going to see how that will progress through the bear market. Let's take a look at what's happening in the crypto world. In the top 10 cryptocurrencies, buy market capitalization in the last 24 hours. Most of the coins in the top 10 are down. The only coins that are not down in the last 24 hours and the last seven days are stable coins. Bitcoin is still trading below $20,000, sitting at number one. Ethereum is at number two, going for $1,400. Number three and number four is USDT and USDC. The stable coin wars are still going on. Binance BNB is at number five. 
Binance USD is at number six, XRP and ADA number seven and number eight, number nine and number ten is Solana and Dogecoin, and those are the top ten cryptocurrencies by market capitalization in the last 24 hours. And you can see, guys, that in the last seven days, all the top ten cryptocurrency by market capitalization are in the negative the top gainers and the top losers in the last 24 hours in the top gainer session we have chills is up 7.88 percent terra classic is up 5.28 percent quant is up 3.26 percent and we have chain link up 2.94 percent in the loser section social socials has lost 27 percent in the last 24 hours raving coin is down 20 percent Lido dio is down 14 percent ethereum classic 11 percent and ethereum nine percent let's look at some other news stories happening in the crypto world green ethereum narrative to drive investment in adoption says pondic prosmerge ethereum has now detached itself from the crypto mining is bad for the environment narrative following its transition to proof of stake that's a lot of justification a lot of people are supporting ethereum are saying that right now we're going to be seeing inflow of cash into ethereum ethereum will be one of those green uh, investments that companies can make tesla ethereum don't say they are supporting the planet it would be a very very good investment for all the people that are trying to save the planet climate change and yada 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 guys sentiment in the market is in extreme fear the measure successful but crypto participants are still in extreme fear guys we have been in fear or extreme fear right now for approximately a year we have not seen greed the last time we saw greed in the crypto market was in march 2022 when bitcoin was trading for forty eight thousand dollars it looks like a far far time in the past how will bitcoin get forty eight thousand dollars in the future only time we tell right now we're navigating the depth of the bear market it looks as if all season is over i've been bringing you this all coin season index in the past four weeks and all coin season index was telling us that when all season and anytime when all season it meant all coins have been outperforming bitcoin in the last 90 days but now right now bitcoin is holding its own even though the market is dumping bitcoin is not dumping like the rest of the market and that's the definition of all season when the market is dumping uh, bitcoin doesn't dump like the rest of the market when the market is pumping bitcoin doesn't pump as the rest of the market and that is very very important if you want to survive in the crypto world you have to understand the dynamics between bitcoin and all coins now some liquidations are still happening in the crypto world because in the last 24 hours over 62,000 traders were liquidated. The highest liquidation came in on OKX. Somebody was trying to trade Bitcoin and he lost $2.4 million. The total liquidation in the last 24 hours came in around $212 million. Ethereum may now be more vulnerable to censorship. That's what the blockchain analyst is saying. With Ethereum validators being required to stake that to Ethereum, Ethereum could come on. Ethereum could become more centralized and susceptible to censorship from government. That's another argument for people that, that are saying Ethereum should not move from proof of work to proof of stake. Even though now the merge is complete, but we are seeing that the top seven entities are holding more than 64% of the stakes Ethereum. In order to become a full validator for Ethereum network, one is required to stake that's to Ethereum, which is worth around $47,000 at the time of writing. US Treasury sanctioned five crypto addresses connected to Russia new Nazi parliamentary group. According to the Treasury Department, members of the sanctioned group fought alongside Russian military, including territory near Ukraine forces reclaimed on Monday. South Korea prosecutors applied to revoke the Kwan and other Terra employees' passport. Singapore, where Terra co-founder Do Kwan is currently staying, does not have an extradition treaty with South Korea. Maybe that's why he's staying there. Yesterday, we saw that a warrant for his arrest have been issued. And guys, let's take a look at what's happening in the general crypto market. In the general market, Bitcoin is gaining dominance. We have been seeing Bitcoin lose dominance in the market since when we thought the market bottomed on the 11th of June 2022. Bitcoin dominance was trading around 48%. Then Bitcoin dominance has fallen to as low as 38%, the lowest figure we have seen in the last four years. But right now, it looks as if Bitcoin dominance is recovering all the market capital because we are seeing Bitcoin dominance pumped as high as 41%. Currently, at the point of recording this video, Bitcoin dominance is at 40.83%. And that metric we're looking at closely to tell us when we should start loading up on a lot of cryptocurrencies is the US dollar currency index. We have noticed a pattern that anytime the dollar is pumping, crypto is actually dumping. But anytime the dollar turns on itself and it starts dumping, that's a very, very good time for cryptocurrency. So is this the start of the dump? The dollar got to as high as 110.736 right now the dollar is currently trading at 110 are we going to take out that 110 and keep pumping to the moon or is the dollar going to turn on itself and we'll see cryptocurrencies start pumping the total crypto market cap is still below one trillion dollars 
currently at 925 billion dollars the lowest we have gone in this bear market is 776 billion dollars we don't want to take out this low in the bear market if we take out this low a lot of all coins are going to see 40 50 some of them might see 70 percent drop from current prices so guys drop your thoughts in the comment section do you think the market is dumping because the merge is successful or do you think it's just the normal wave of the market buy the rumor sell the news and a lot of people are looking up on all of these all coins expecting higher prices are right now selling because nothing happened yesterday after the merge because the merge was successful i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Seven, one.